Hi everyone, here's a quick little tutorial on how to use and export SmartArt in PowerPoint. First up, we'll add a new slide and to do that I just go to the blank space in PowerPoint after I've opened it of course. At the left, I right click and select new slide. This is a content slide. I don't need this bit up here because I'm not going to title this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it and get it out of our way. Now, I want to insert SmartArt, so I go to Insert and I click on SmartArt. Now, SmartArt um, allows you to um, dynamically create um, all sorts of little charts and things. Um, you can see the All menu here lists everything all at once, or it sorts it out by categories. We're going to go ahead and select a process sort of chart and it's good to know first um, how many elements are going to be in your chart. Um, so sometimes I will either make a list or sketch things out first to get an idea. Then I'll select the sort of chart I want and it gives me a description over here and shows me what it looks like without any text in it and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now, you can see here that there are only three squares here with text. I'm going to have six elements in mine, but that's OK. I've worked with this one before and I know it's expandable. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click the little arrow pointing over here at the left and that lets me add my text in without having to click in the graphic itself. So I'm going to be really imaginative here and just go step one step two, and I'll use the down arrow to go to the next one, step three. Now, to add more squares, all I've got to do at the end of the step three one I have here is click enter, and another square comes up, and you can see the graphic got a little bit smaller to fit that new square in. So I'll go step four, step five, enter, step six. Now, once I'm done with all the text that I want to add, I'm just going to go ahead and close that window. I can open it again anytime by clicking on that arrow that points off to the left. So, now that I have the graphic finished, I might want to change the colors. And to do that, I can go up into Smart Art Tools here on the ribbon right here at the top, and there's Design and Format. So, if I just want to use the existing color options that um, come default with this particular theme in PowerPoint, I just click on change color and I can change the colors and as I hover over I can see what it's going to look like and I can select the colors I want. I'll just go with blues and greens in this case and I can also choose some special effects. So I could make things look a bit 3D and shiny. I could go really crazy and, and make it point off to the side there. So let's say I'm happy with that. Now, my final step, if I want to upload this as an image to a website, for instance, or if I want to use it in a Word document, is to click on the SmartArt image, right-click, and choose Save as Picture. I'll go ahead and just pop that on the desktop and call it Chart. And you get a choice of different formats. It doesn't really matter, PNG, JPEG, TIFF, um, but it's better on the internet to use um, PNGs, JPEGs, or, or GIFs, or GIFs, however you pronounce it. Click Save. And then if we go to the desktop and we click on Chart, we can see it's saved there as an image, ready to insert or upload as a file or whatever we want to do with it. And that is all there is to using and exporting SmartArt in PowerPoint. Hope you found this useful.